Ošdo, Ednis, Sies, Ognis, Ordau, Sert, Sot, Onu, Ora, Gepseda, Ezeuke, Oleu, Benelik, Davovot. Hello everybody and welcome to Kerbal Space Program again. And yes, your ears do not deceive you. You are in fact hearing the sound of the game because I finally figured out how to record sound on the computer. If you guys don't know, I don't have a PC, I have a Mac. And um, yeah, it's kind of laggy every time I record. <laughs> so yeah, and there was no sound, so... Yeah, that's why, uh, that's why all of my KSP videos up until now were muted because the Mac didn't record sound for some reason. Like, come on, Apple, you, you, you know what you're, you know. Anyway, uh, today's mission is launching a nuclear engine into space because the Kerbals want to know if the nuclear engine is actually as efficient as the part menu describes it as. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know the, the lore behind this. But the reason I actually did this mission is because if you've been on the news recently, NASA announced that they're partnering up with DARPA, I think, to make a... Oh, there it is. The nuclear engine. They're making a nuclear engine IRL by 2027. That's so exciting. If you don't know why, let me just explain real quick. Currently, it takes like seven months to get to Mars. One-way trip. But now, with the nuclear engine, it will most likely take about five to six months. It will basically shorten the trip by a few months, so that's exciting. That means more trips to Mars and space base on Mars by 2050. That's going to be awesome. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we're... What are we doing, actually? Oh, we're time warping to the uh, apoapsis. I think that's what we're doing, right? Uh, yeah, so we, we're we still attempting to get into orbit. Uh, the ride to orbit was kind of slow-ish because the nuclear engine doesn't have, you know, that much of, you know, good thrust. Oh, wait, no, we made it into orbit already. Never mind. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, let's just uh, do a bit of science while we're up here. We only brought a gravioli, to be honest. That's all we brought. Uh, Miles Kerman, the scientist, Get it, Miles, uh, and this is Prower Aerospace. Get it? <laughs> uh, yeah, he's he's um, he's getting out of the spacecraft to do some science. And are we seriously? Oh, yep, there it is. We're deorbiting the spacecraft now. Now you might be a little confused for this because, like, did he just deorbit the uh, the spacecraft and then just start controlling the um, the piece of junk? Basically, I don't know how to describe it. The uh, the part with the nuclear engine. That is because. We do not want to deorbit that nuclear engine into Kerbin because that has radioactive materials and we don't want to contaminate the surface of Kerbin and potentially put the Kerbals at risk of contracting some sort of disease because we dropped the uh, nuclear engine into the ocean. That's why we didn't deorbit it. We just quickly, uh, you know, put it back into an orbit. So, yeah, we're not going to leave it in space, though. Uh, you'll find out what's going to happen you know, to it soon. So uh, stay tuned to the end of the video. <laughs> wow, look at that beautiful shot of the capsule coming down onto the seas of the blue planet known as Kerbin and splash down. Okay, uh, let's just move on to the uh, to the stage, to the stage that we left up there because I know the footage is going to move too fast for me to actually describe what's going on. We're going to crash the stage into the surface of the moon because we want to get the stage as far away as possible because as i already mentioned we don't want the stage near kerbin and potentially you know decaying over time due to atmospheric drag although that doesn't exist you know that doesn't exist in kerbal space program so there's no you know anyway right here i'm plotting my maneuver to the moon and starting the burn no not yet and there we go uh this moment actually surprised me. You'll see by the end when I shut down the engine. Ooh, that's a beautiful shot. Uh, how much Delta V I had left over, I couldn't even believe what I was looking at. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And there we go. There is our Mun encounter, just trying to adjust the uh, orbit to, uh, you know, 
hit the mun and there's Kerbin goodbye for the last time because you know RIP this stage and there's the mun right there <laughs> about to crash and just you know igniting the engine one last time to you know waste the little bit of fuel and as you saw we had four meters of delta v left so that's insane but anyway the uh the video is over now so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video there's a zoom out of the mun and like comment subscribe if you feel like it i guess and yeah have a wonderful day everybody